order of operations. So in this topic, we will be able to evaluate expressions using order of operations, including the use of absolute value. So when simplifying expressions, it is important that we simplify them in the correct order. So let's try to consider this example here. So the following problem can be solved in two different ways. First, okay, 2 plus 5 times 3. Um, without using the order of, without following the order of operations, we would be tempted to add first, then multiply, and then we get this answer, 21, which is not correct. Whereas, if we multiply first, then we add next, then we get the correct answer, which is 17. So, this illustration uh, example, uh, this example illustrates that if the same problem is done two different ways, we will arrive at two different solutions. However, there is only one method that can be correct. That's why we, um, we use or we follow order of operations. So when we want to do something out of order and make it come first, we will put it in parentheses or grouping symbols. Okay. So this one is our order of operations that we will use to simplify expressions. So first, um, we solve those expressions inside the parentheses, then the exponents, then we multiply and then divide. Uh, we multiply and divide from left to right. Um, multiply and divide here are on the same level because they are the same operation. So division is just multiplying by the reciprocal. So this means that they must be done left to right. So some problems we will divide first and others we will multiply first. The same is true for adding and subtracting. So subtracting is just adding the opposite. So this is often called um, PEMDAS. Okay. Then for example, okay, what if we were given this problem? Let's try to solve this problem. 2 plus 3 times 9 minus 4 squared. So all we have to do is solve the expression inside the parentheses first, which is 9 minus 4. So that would become 5. Then next is the exponent, which is 5 squared. So we get, we get 25 from, from there. And then we multiply 3 and 25. Then we get 75. Then we add 2 plus 5. So our answer is 77. So it is very important to remember that to multiply and divide, we start from left to right. Okay. Another example. So we're given 30 divided by 3 times 2. So here we divide first so from left to right so 30 divided by 3 we get 10 then we multiply 10 by 2 we get 20 as our answer so 
there are several parentheses in the prob uh, if there are several parentheses in a problem we will start with the innermost uh, parentheses and work our way out so inside each parenthesis we simplify using the order of operations as well so to make it easier to know which parenthesis goes with which parenthesis different types of parenthesis will be used such as braces square brackets or round brackets or what we call parentheses okay for example what if we're given this problem so a lot of parentheses there yeah first is we solve um we evaluate the exponent first so evaluate three squared here and we get nine then we add inside the parenthesis the innermost parenthesis which is nine plus one and then we get ten and then next we multiply four and ten so we get 40 and the next one is we subtract inside um, the innermost parenthesis the next parenthesis so there will be 32 minus 40 and then we get negative 8 next is we evaluate um, the exponent which is 8 squared so 8 squared is just 64 then after that we multiply from left to right so we multiply um, 7 and negative 8 negative 7 and neg negative 8 so that would be positive 56 and then next is we multiply 56 and negative 1 get Okay, so we get 56 here, then we subtract the remaining expression inside um, the parenthesis or your brace, braces. So 64 minus 56, that would be 8. Then we multiply and we get an answer which is 16. So um, it can take several steps to complete a problem. The key to successfully solve order of operation problems is to take the time to show your work and do one step at a time. So this will reduce the chance of making a mistake along the way. Um, there are several types of grouping symbols that can be used besides parentheses. So one type is a fraction bar. So if we have a fraction, the entire numerator and the entire denominator must be evaluated before we reduce the fraction. So in these cases, we can simplify in both the numerator and denominator at the same time. Say for example, we're given 2 to the 4th, okay, this problem. So we, ha we need to evaluate the exponent in the numerator first and um, this one and then divide in the de denominator so 2 to the fourth that would become 16 then 15 divided by 5 that would become 3 okay the next is we multiply in the numerator and subtract in the denominator so we multiply negative 8, negative 8 times 3, that would be negative 24. Then 3 minus 1 is 2. So we get this one expression and 16 minus negative 24, which is just 40. And then divided by 2 so we get an answer which is 20 so another type of grouping symbol that also has an operation with it um, is the absolute value 
when we have absolute value, we will evaluate everything inside the absolute value, just as if it were a normal parenthesis. Then once the inside is completed, we will take the absolute value or distance from zero to make the number positive. Say, for example, we're given this problem. Okay, we need to evaluate um, the exponents first. So this one, 4 squared, negative 4 squared, and negative 5 squared. Um, have you noticed that negative uh, 4 here is not inside the parenthesis? So that means only 4 is squared, being squared. Whereas negative 5 here is inside the parenthesis, so ne negative 5 is being squared. So negative 4 squared is just negative 16. And negative 5 inside the parenthesis is uh, negative 5 squared. Inside the parenthesis is just positive 25. Then we add inside absolute values. So negative 16 minus negative 8 that would become negative 16 plus 8 so we get an answer of negative 8 and then 3 plus 25 that would be 28 then next is we evaluate the absolute values so the absolute value of negative 8 is positive 8 and the absolute value of 28 is 28. So then we multiply from left to right. So we multiply 3 and 8 and 2 and 28. So 3 times 8, that would be 24. 2 times 28, that would be 56. So we add from left to right. We get 25 plus 56 and then... Our final answer is 81. Okay. So that's it for today. I hope um, you understood everything in this video. I wrote here some practice problems for you to work on. You can try solving them and then you can um, write your answers in the comment section so please like and subscribe have a great day